Ahead of a visit of, uh, to Aberdeenshire today, the Prime Minister has announced an expansion of oil and gas drilling in the North Sea amid ongoing rows in his party about the future of its climate commitment. Not only that, the government is said to be considering a crackdown on anti-motorist policies. I think that's front page in the newspapers today. Uh, Mr Sunak's words there. Including limiting the power of local authorities and reversing lower speed limit zones. So, Janet, is he choosing cars over the climate, do you think? I think he's choosing votes over everything else. And that's the truth of the matter. I mean, I at right. the last uh, climate summit, we signed all these agreements. Boris was there. It happened in Cornwall. And I think there's been another one since then. We signed up to go carbon neutral by 2030. And I think a lot of the public thought that was a really good thing. But since then, we've seen fuel prices go up, inflation rise, uh, food, pr food prices have had a really big effect on, on people's mm. household budgets, plus mortgage rates have gone up too. And I think politicians have realised that these green policies could cost people a lot more uh, than they were thinking uh, at the time when they, you know, when they were passed. I think what's happened in London in particular, that Sadiq Khan brought in a low emission zone and then wanted to extend it. And I can see why. And by the way, it wasn't his idea to have the low emission zone. That was yeah. brought, brought in by the Tories uh, before he was mayor. Yeah. But, but it's, it's not been... just about green policy, it's about health, isn't it's it? It's about you know. health and it's because children can't breathe the polluted, horrible air in London. And I completely agree with that. But as far as, because I live in London, I see also the impact of the low traffic neighbourhoods, which is another thing where whole areas, not just in London, but in other cities around Britain, have been blocked off to keep cars mm. and commuters out. Now, the impact has been, uh, it's, it's had a huge impact on it. It's pushed traffic onto main roads. It's made driving around all our cities much slower. Mm. And it's become really, really unpopular. Plus, they haven't got a scrappage scheme for mm. diesel and petrol cars, and the government said they want to phase them out by 2030. And they're still committed to that, you know, to yeah. having no new sales but of you know uh, petrol what? and diesel Car by manufacturing yeah. is a big part of our economy. And at the moment, we know that build it, if we are to go electric, the charging points, we're 10 years behind. Plus, the people who are going to but build is... the battery factories yeah. want a clear policy yeah, from the government. There will be obstacles. Obviously, it's going to be <clears> difficult. <throat> but is the fact that there will be obstacles reasons not to go ahead? I don't know about you, Colleen and Brenda. For me, it feels that we are at a point of major change at the moment. And change is always difficult. People always resist it. And it is never trouble-free. But I think there is an awareness now of, you know, climate change mm. that people think we need a long future plan rather than something that is a political uh, response to a short-term situation. Mm. And I mean, I, I was working, I was listening to the radio this morning, it was talking about us being, you know, uh, net, reaching net zero by 2050, I think our um, UK target is. I'm thinking, I'll be dead. I mean, the chances are I'm... No, seriously, I'm, I'm going to be dead. Yeah, yeah, she will. Most of it... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Most of us are going to be anywhere. My kids won't be. Yeah, exactly. I hope. And, and they're the ones that I want to plan for. Because it's very easy to look at all these policies and go, oh, 2030, 2050, I won't be here, I'm not bothered. But actually, I am bothered. If, you, if you've got children, I'm bothered for them and their children. And my kids always point that out. Hmm. And we do everything we can, you know, um, as far as recycling, and it's always about... I mean, there's no point in denying climate change is happening because we can see it every day. You know, with the, everything that's going on in the world, etc. You know, it's obvious about climate. Well, change. even our rubbish weather at the moment yeah. <laughs> is related to yeah. climate change. Oh yeah, because of the forest fires in the Mediterranean are the result of climate change. Uh, in so far as when the forest fires start, which they do every year, now it's harder and harder to put them out because the ground is so much drier, yeah. and that's down to climate change. Yeah. And they are there are mm. more for, forest fires in more places. But what it comes down to is what effort is each individual person in our society prepared to make? Because you could turn around and say private jet use, for example, has gone up phenomenally. I've yeah. stopped using mine. Yeah. Well, exactly. <laughs> and they pollute more than anyone else. So we can't moan a holiday makers 
queuing to go to the Mediterranean yeah. if we're not yeah. banning private But care. then you would, you that's say, why it's got to be structural. Yeah, but you say, you know, I, I kind of agree, I, I agree with what everybody's saying, but for me, I think it is you have to take a personal responsibility. Yeah. And just over last night, the last 24 hours, I was thinking, I want to I want to be meat free mm. and go meat free and try and do my bit to, mm. to try and help. And I think that's what everybody can do. God, that's mm. a big one for you, Brenda. Yeah. Yes. And it's one I my don't agree with. I know, we haven't got an hour to argue. Well, that's because <laughs> you've not researched. I know. But anyway, Janet, yes. if you stick to your roadkill, you're going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I've got I'm a diesel talking. car. I'm driving a diesel car because a previous government told me to buy diesel. Yeah. And now I've got to get rid of when it. When have you ever done what you've been told to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're in a perky mood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I like that one.